Welcome to my channel. I'm the Calorie Deficit Queen. This is where you'll find everything weight loss, mind shift, meal shift, micro habits, and muscle building. And today we're talking protein. And the first question I get is how do I calculate my protein goal? Easy stuff. You're gonna take your goal weight and you're gonna multiply it by 0.7. So let's say your goal weight is 150 pounds. 150 times 0.7 gives you 105. So that means you would need to eat 105 grams minimum of protein per day. You can absolutely eat more than that, but aim for getting in at least that minimum. You can also multiply your goal weight by the number one to make it easy. So if you're aiming for 150 pounds times one, you would aim for 150 grams of protein per day. And although that number's not necessarily the maximum amount of protein, it would be a fantastic number of grams to reach if your goal is to increase your protein. If you have a hard time getting in protein, just aim for that lower number. So why is protein so important to weight loss? Protein is an essential nutrient that plays a crucial role in many of your body functions. It's needed for growth, repair, maintenance of tissues, including muscles, bones, and organs. And it's also involved in the productions of enzymes and hormones, both of which are important to weight loss. Protein is particularly important because it helps increase our feelings of fullness. When you consume protein, it takes longer to digest than it does carbs and fats and that just helps you feel fuller for longer periods of time. Then it helps reduce your overall caloric intake for the day, and that helps support weight loss. Also, protein has the highest thermic effect of food. That just means it takes more energy or more calories to digest the protein than it does carbs or fats. So simply by increasing protein, you can increase the number of calories your body burns during digestion. And finally, consuming adequate amounts of protein can help preserve muscle mass. And this is important because muscle mass is metabolically active and burns more calories than fat tissue. So preserving muscle mass can help support long-term weight loss. And finally, a great way to get in more protein. For meat source protein, take the ounces you typically eat and multiply it by 1.5. So if you're typically eating four ounces of chicken in a meal, multiply that by 1.5 and that'll give you six ounces. Or if you're typically eating two slices of deli meat on a sandwich, multiply that by 1.5 and eat three. This is just a quick way to increase the amount of protein that you're eating per meal. And you can also swap out low protein sources with high protein sources. For example, cashew milk is low protein source, whereas Fairlife is high protein. Add things like yogurt, cottage cheese, and if you like them, you can invest in protein powders. Knowing the protein that you should intake and increasing your protein can help you manage and sustain weight loss. If you found this video helpful or you want more Mind Shift, Meal Shift, Micro Habits, and Muscle Building, hit that like and subscribe button.